Leftist Gustavo Petro, a former member of the M19 guerrilla movement, won Colombia's presidency on Sunday, the first progressive to do so in the country's history. Petro defeated political outsider Rodolfo Hernandez after he received 50.47% of the votes, while Hernandez had 47.27%. This is considered a demonstration of Colombians' eagerness for efforts to combat deep inequality. We will develop capitalism in Colombia not because we worship it, but because we first have to overcome pre-modernity in Colombia, feudalism in Colombia, and the new slavery. During a speech delivered after his victory in the Colombian presidential election, Petro declared he wants dialogue in the Americas. I propose to the government of the United States and all the governments of America to sit down and talk to accelerate the steps of the energy transitions. Thousands of people took to the streets in Bogota to celebrate the election of the new left-wing president. I'm happy we've been waiting for this victory over 40 years ago. We're happy because the left will allow this country to move forward and have better prospects. I think the citizens responded well. It was the transition we needed for change and I think the politics will improve a bit. Petro's running mate, Francia Marquez, a single mother and former housekeeper, will be the country's first Afro-Colombian woman vice president. This campaign was Petro's third presidential bid and his victory adds the Andean nation to a list of Latin American countries that have elected progressives in recent years.